Hello guys, and yeah, it's a hobby update. It was a long time since I last did one of these. Oh god. Well, I finished the Stormsire's Champions, and they're in the cabinet behind me. Uh, but let me just show what I'm doing at the moment with the goblins. Um, I started painting them yesterday. I'm gonna paint more today. As you can probably tell, I've started uh, because their skin color is gonna be green. And the way I do simple green is the fact that I start with a yellow. So, so it's a base coat of this yellow right here, golden yellow. I, today I will also be then just doing a little bit of a layer of flash gets yellow just to get it brighter in certain areas. And then after that I'll just use a green wash. And that will be the skin on these guys. As you can also tell right here, I removed these, oh god, I don't know if you can tell, these mushrooms, oh god. Oh, there they are. These three mushrooms, because this big mushroom, uh, it's supposed to be right here and it helped prop up the, the lantern. But I did not like how busy it looked right in front of him with all these mushrooms. And also, I mean, this is sitting sturdy without the support from that. Because all I did was I just drilled a little bit into the arm right here. Then just plastic glue. And it was good. It's sitting on there very good. So... It also looks better like that. I also, as you could probably tell, also trimmed the actual lantern down because the lantern has like these metal pipes or something sticking under it. And when you remove those mushrooms, it looks really stupid. So I removed that as well uh, before I put it on the hand, of course. And yeah, I'm gonna save these three mushrooms. Maybe I'll put them on someone else's base. We'll see. But it really looks so much better without those three mushrooms right there. You can, you can actually see the goblin way more. And you still have a lot of mushrooms going on like this. I did not want to remove all mushrooms in the front because then it would be weird to just have a ton of mushrooms in the back. But not a single one on the front, so I let three mushrooms stay there. And then their clothing is going to be red. This right here is a layer of corn red. I'm gonna need to do another layer. And I'll I will be doing well I will be blocking in the colors. That I will be using first before I start doing uh, shades. Um, at least uh, when it comes to the clothing and the skin. I think those two things I'll do at the same time and then I'll do everything else because I think I will use the same shade of green that is uh, that I'll be using on the skin. I'll probably use that on the red cloth, cloth as well. And then, and this red cloth, it will be based off, oh man, I saw a picture um, of a, a paint scheme of the goblins. And I had like, it was, it was red clothing with uh, white dots. I probably will do something similar to that. Um, I will be doing all the clothing red. I think the one that I saw was uh, the top part was red and the lower ones were white. I will just do it all red and just do red dots on them. Yeah, but that's the plan for the goblins. And... Uh, I mean, we can 
show some other. I mean, I I've only started on those three. I think I'll do three at a time. I'll do I'll do those three at once, and then I'll do these four. Now the thing about this one, I've been thinking that I'm. I mean, I've glued ahead now, so it might be hard to do. But I really fucking love his helmet. When I look at this way, I did not notice it. But when you look at him from a profile shot, it might be hard now since it's white. But his helmet is so cool. And when, and if it was down, I, oh man, I wish this helmet was down. It would look so cool. So what I might do is... Cut it off and make it down. Now doing that I might completely ruin this model. Or I probably would ruin it. But, oh man, if only I hadn't glued the head. And this is with plastic glue. So I'm not going to get it off. But, man, this is such a cool helmet. If it was down and not up. So, yeah, we'll see. I might try and do that. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. And here we have two cute squids. Yeah, and as you can tell, the inside is white. Uh, and yeah, it is glued, so I'm fucked when it comes to that. Um, we'll see how I'll try and hide that. I'll probably try and use an airbrush on these squids and spray black or something into the mouth. Uh, what you should do before gluing the squid is that you should black out the insides. Of the mouth. I didn't do that, but oh well. And the squids are probably gonna be the last ones I do. Well, you know what? I think I, what I'm actually gonna do is that I'm gonna do three at a time. So these three goblins, and then these two archer boys with the nether. And then the two squids with this guy. Because look at him, he has quite a lot of metals and everything that's a bit different, so. Yeah, probably gonna do it like that. And I mean, he's a squid herder. And what I might do as well on this guy. Now, what I'm planning on. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna try and do it. Close his helmet. Uh, I'll probably remove this fire as well. That, that, I mean, removing the fire will be easy. Easy thing to do. So I'll remove that. So yeah, uh, those are the plans. Oh yeah, let me show the Stormside Champions quick. Oh god, there we go, Jesus. Oh, I will only record for one more minute. Oh well. Um, yeah, these are the stone size champions. I'm not entirely happy with them, but... I mean, this highlighting is so... It actually looks better in real life than it does on camera. Uh, but it does look better in real life if you look at it close. If you look at it at tabletop distance, you could almost barely tell. So uh, that's a bit sad. I uh, decided so to go with. But what I am happy with is the jars. I think the jars turned out actually pretty good. The jars of magic, whatever these. Uh, whatever it is. And there you go. Do you have a broken jar? I'm assuming he probably broke that jar. Oh god, five more seconds. Oh god, here's this girl right here.